Hi, this is Steve with iFlow, and welcome to our video series. We are at uh, one of Eastbrook Homes. Uh, we are at an Eastbrook Homes uh, location in Grand Rapids, Michigan, where they've installed the Navient uh, NCB with the iFlow air handler. So we're just going to run through the communication between the two units. So uh, we have a communication cable that runs between the Navient. So you can see it here. One end is labeled Navient, and that plugs in to the board and then it runs all the way over and it will run over to the iFlow. And we can tell that there's communication on by the blinking red and green lights. So you do have to initiate it on the Navient uh, and that sequence is found in the iFlow manual and in the um, Navi manual as to how to do that. But now we're going to look at the temperatures. So we've got a potentiometer here. This potentiometer simulates an outdoor sensor. So we can run this from, you know, 70 or 80 degrees right down to 40 or 50 or 20 degrees if we want. So we've just got a call for heat from the thermostat. If we look at the board, you can see that we've got a red light where the, where the heat call is. So we know there's a call for heat. But let's go on to the board now. We'll go into information mode. We'll go into, so the outdoor temperature is 75 degrees. So it's quite warm. So if we look to the Navian now, you'll see that as it starts up, right, the temperature is very low because the outdoor temperature is so low that we don't need any excessive uh, heat from the boiler. The, the Navian comes on, blower modulates down nice and low, flame is nice and low, delivering only the BTUs we need. So let's go back to the iFlow. So now we're going to go back to the iFlow. Okay? to go into parameter 5 which is our outdoor temperature and then we're going to reduce that temperature so now we're let's bring it down to 50 degrees to start so now it's a fall day it's getting a little cool okay, 40. all right good enough so let's see what the navian does now so this navian it might take some time to respond but it will it will gradually come up and you'll see that the so there it starts, 115. Again, we can hear the burner starting to pick up a little bit there. So now we're 117, 118. So you can hear the burner just ramping up so gently. Right, the blower's ramping up, the burner's ramping up. Now 119, 120. 22 and again nobody's doing any anything on the set point it's all done with communication between the iPhone and the Navi. Now we're up to so let's bring this down a little further. Let's go down to 25 degrees. Now we're at 30 degrees, outdoor tem temperature simulated. So now with, what do we have on the, the Navian boiler? 141, 42. So again, automatically calibrating between the two to deliver only the BTUs that we need. And as it gets colder outside, we ramp up the heating that the Navian is delivering into the iPhone. And then let's drop this to the maximum. So we'll drop this down. So down to zero. So you hear this. the iPhone's picking up. Why? Because it's colder outside. We need to deliver more heat into the house. So the blower speed's going to pick up, pushing more air across the heat, taking more BTUs off the coil into the house. And now the Navian is also now 154, and that should jump up soon to, yeah, it starts to jump up. So, that is just an example of the, uh, the iPhone Navi communication. And this is with the iFlow 18,000U, 18,000W, in conjunction with the uh, 
have yet. Uh, this is the NCB 190. Uh, that's it. Thanks for your time.